In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a repeat pattern fill swatch the old fashioned way in Illustrator. And I call it the old fashioned way because uh, this is the way everybody used to do it before CS6 when Adobe introduced the pattern editing mode feature. And so a lot of people use that now because it gives you that sort of instant preview of everything. It allows you to do half drop repeats in a very easy way. But there are limitations as you'll see the more you work with it. Uh, it expands any brush art that you have, anything that's sort of live, like symbols will get expanded. You can't use the eraser tool inside of pattern editing mode. So there are those limitations. And so it's really handy to be able to do this here out on the artboard without pattern editing mode, uh, because you won't run into some of those limitations. My gem art here contains freeform gradients, which get rasterized when you leave pattern editing mode. So let's go through step-by-step step for making a pattern fill swatch. We'll start by making a tile with the artboard. So to begin, I'm just going to click here on the artboard tool to get into artboard editing mode. And then I'm gonna change the width and height to three inches and three inches. So I've got a three inch repeat tile. And then I'll just click on another tool to exit pattern editing mode. So this is now my tile and here I'm going to use this gem in the corner of this repeat. And in order to do this exactly and perfectly, which you have to do in order to make a seamless repeat, I'm going to go into preferences. That's command or control K. And here in, under keyboard increment, I'll change this to three inches so that it just matches that pattern tile. And I'll just hit enter. And now what I can do is just copy and paste this. So I'm going to copy command or control C paste in front command or control F. And then with my arrow keys on my keyboard, I'll just nudge it one time over like that. Because in a grid repeat pattern, all four corners have to be identical. Now I'll do the same thing. Command or control C command or control F and then down arrow and same thing again, copying it, pasting it in front and moving it over. So now my corners are all identical and I'm just gonna option or alt, drag, copy out uh, some other gems here. So let me go ahead and rotate this to make it different. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. The top and bottom edges have to be identical. So copy paste in front and nudge it down three inches. And then I'll make a copy here and try a different rotation. Let's see how that looks there. And maybe I'll move this over a little bit and then copy paste in front and make the right hand edge identical to the left hand edge. And then everything in the center can be, you know, however you want it. So I'll just go ahead and make one copy and, and add it there. All right. So we've got our repeat tile. That's three inches by three inches. We know that the corners are identical and that the top and bottom and left and right are identical. Now let's put a background color in. So I'll drag out, rectangle, send it to back. That's kind of a crazy color. Let me go ahead and make that. Maybe I'll just make it black. We'll see how that looks. All right. So now I've got a background color. Everything's crossing over the edge here. And so here's the part that's the most important. When you're making a pattern fill swatch, you need to have a no fill, no stroke bounding shape at the very back of the stacking order. So I'm going to make one. I'll get the rectangle tool, tap once, and then enter three by three inches. Same as my artboard. Okay. Let's make it a different color just so we can see it. Um, my three by three, which is exactly the same size as my artboard, which is the size of the repeat tile. And then I'm going to align it. And this is really important. You want to have it exactly aligned like that using the center buttons on the align panel to make it perfectly aligned with the artboard. Okay, now I made it this color just so that we can see it, but what's important here is to make it invisible, no fill and no stroke. So I'm gonna come over to my little color swatch for the fill there and just change that to none. So I've got none and none. And then very important, send it to back. And the keyboard shortcut is command shift left bracket. And of course you can find that under object arrange, send to back. So this invisible shape has to be at the very back of the stacking order. 
Now you can decide here if you want to group this or not. Sometimes I like to group it. You don't need to in order to drag it to the panel, but I often like to group it. Um, and then I'm gonna drag this into the swatches panel here. So let's go ahead and just drag that art. You see it snaps right back uh, because it knows now that we were making a pattern fill swatch out of it. And then I'll just go over to the side here, get my fill active and create a rectangle, find that pattern fill swatch and apply it to this rectangle. So now I can see that it is repeating. I don't see any lines or gaps or anything. I'm making this rectangle really big so we can see more of the pattern, but it's enlarged the pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click on here again so I can reset it to the original size. Now, if you ever have trouble with a pattern and it doesn't look like this and it doesn't tile out, make sure you do a checkup here. I'm just gonna go ahead and make the thumbnails really large here so we can see them. And in the layers panel, it's important to take a look at what you've got here. So I see this group that is this original three by three. And if I look inside here, I can see all of my gems. I can see my black background rectangle and I can see the no fill, no stroke bounding shape. In fact, if I select this just by clicking here, I can confirm there it is. And down here at the bottom of the tool panel, it's no fill and no stroke. So it definitely has to be at the very bottom of the stacking order of this artwork here on this artboard because this shape is actually doing the cropping or the masking, whatever you wanna call it, it's defining the repeat for the swatches panel for pattern fill swatches in Illustrator. So you can always double check this in the layers panel if you need to do some troubleshooting. All right, so that's how you make a repeat pattern fill swatch the old fashioned way, the original recipe in Adobe Illustrator. I'm Laura Coyle and thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks on Adobe Illustrator and check out my website at lauracoylecreative.com for courses, community, and live calls.